Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make this super cute easy cardigan. This is a no sew tutorial so all you really need is some material and scissors and it is super fast and easy and it can be done in just a couple of minutes. If you like DIY tutorials or just fun DIY projects please consider subscribing and let's get started. To start, you want to take some measurements. You want to measure from shoulder to hip, or where, however long you want the cardigan to go. Then you want to measure from palm to palm with your arms spread straight out. And then you want to measure from shoulder to shoulder. And you can measure either in the front or the back from shoulder to shoulder. And make sure you write all those down. And then let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make my first cut and I'm doing the measurement from the shoulder to the hip, which was 20 inches. I folded my fabric in half and I'm just going to cut it at 20 inches. You don't have to fold your fabric in half. I just did because it's easier to cut that way. So now that I've got that cut, I'm just going to cut off um, the salvage edge where you can see the white. Okay, now I am going to measure it out and I am going to cut out the other length, the measurement from the palm to palm, which happened to be 33 inches. So I'm just going to hurry and cut that. So it's going to be, mine's going to be 20 wide by 33 and that fits my daughter who's five. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is find the center and mark it somehow. You can mark it with a pen or with a crayon, a pin, whatever you can mark it with. And that's going to help us figure out where to put the armholes. So you're going to take the measurement from the shoulder and um, divide it in half. So mine was 10 inches. So I'm going to go from that center point that I marked. And I'm going to count over 5 inches to the left. And then I want it to go about two or three inches down. And I'm going to make my armhole right there. So I just used a vase. Just find anything that is circle. Um, a cup was too small. The vase was just like the perfect size for my daughter's armhole. And now you're just going to trace around it. So you want to make sure that the wrong side of the fabric is facing up because you are going to draw on it. So get a pen or a crayon, whatever will work on your fabric, and you're just going to trace a circle around it. Okay, now I'm going back up to the center going to find my center mark and I'm going to count over five the other way and then two down. This just makes it so the armholes are exactly even and it's wide enough that your daughter's arms will fit through it. Okay, once you have both of those drawn on, then you're just going to want to cut out the armholes. You can use scissors or you can use your rotary cutter. Um, I decided to use my rotary cutter because it's faster and easier for me to use. So just whichever method you prefer, just cut out the arms and you're done with this project. I know I'm probably going to get a couple questions about fabric, so I'm just going to hurry and tell you. Um, this is sheer fabric, just see-through whatever fabric I could find at Walmart. It wasn't very much. You could use cotton, you could use knit. I feel like knit would flow better than cotton would. 
but um, I do have a video on where I buy all my fabric from, so I will link that below. So as soon as you get these armholes cut out, you could be done if you wanted. Or if you want, you could hem the bottom, you could hem the sides. Um, all you would have to do is just fold it over twice, just like a quarter inch or an inch, and then just sew down it. I decided not to do that because I just liked how it looked without it. So that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I loved the way that it looked on my daughter so much that I made myself one. So we have matching ones. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.